Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look and see how we deal with radical expressions, how we simplify radical expressions. And of course, before we simplify them, we need to understand what we mean by a radical expression. Well, it turns out a radical expression is an expression that contains a radical sign. And there it is. It's like a square root or a cube root or a fourth root, anything like that. That's called a radical expression. And we want to simplify it because we want to go back to the concept that the nth root of a to the n power simply gives us not n, but a. All right, so we want to use that concept on our expressions right here. For example, what we want to do if we take the square root of something, we want to see if we can write this in terms of something squared. And we could, we can write this as follows. We can write this as 6 squared instead of 36. Here we can write this as x cubed quantity squared and here we can write this as y squared quantity squared because notice with the exponential rules x cubed squared gives us x to the sixth y squared squared gives us y to the fourth now that once we've written like, like that we can then go back to this and we can then say that the nth root of a to the n power equals a so using the same principle this would then become equal to the square root of 6 squared gives us 6. The square root of x to the third power squared gives us x to the third. And the square root of y squared to the second power gives us y squared. And that is how we simplify a radical expression. We do the same over here, but notice we have the cube root, so we have to write this in terms of something cubed. So this can be written as the cube root of Negative 8 can be written as negative 2 quantity cubed, because that equals negative 8. x to the 6 can be written x squared quantity cubed. And this can be written as y to the 5th quantity cubed. And notice with the exponential rules, we get back the original problem back, or the original expression back. And now we can apply this rule right here. So this becomes equal to negative 2 x squared y to the 5th. And then here we have an example where I have the fourth root of this. So again, we're going to write this as the fourth root of something, everything inside written to the fourth power if we can. So 3 to the fourth power is indeed 81. x to the first power quantity to the fourth is indeed x to the fourth. And y cubed raised to the fourth power would of course equal y to the twelfth. And then we can see how we can simplify that. This then becomes equal to 3 x y cubed and so that's how we simplify radical expressions by realizing if we're looking for the square root the cube root or the fourth root can we write the terms or the factors inside the radical as a number or a letter or a variable raised to that power where the power is equal to the root so we can apply this concept right here now of course what if we can do that perfectly well for that we have to go to our next video to see what we do then if we can't exactly get the numbers to the third power like we have over here or to the second power or to the third power fourth power okay let's go to the next video and see what we do with the more special cases